Welcome back, everybody. Today on Good to Go Gaming, we're gonna start playing the Long Dark Winter Mew. It is the basically story mode for this game. We're gonna make a series out of this. Hopefully, we can finish out the game in just a little while. I just played a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and start episode one. Start. Uh, what do we want? Do we want green? Do we want capable? Do we want hardened? <clears throat> uh, well, since we have no experience, I guess we're gonna go with green survivors. Uh, name. Let's see. There we go. That works. Let's hop into this. <clears throat> now the pale morning sings of forgotten things. She plays the tune for those who wish to overlook. Wow. She falls short and the night explodes in laughter. But don't you come here and say I didn't warn you about the way your world can alter. And oh, how you try to command it all still. Every single time it all shifts one way. Okay. Okay. So I'm pretty new at this. I don't know all of the controls and stuff, but we're gonna learn this together as we go. I haven't played Winter Mute at all. Seems to wake up. Bastard. Ooh. Yeah, got a piece of metal in the hand. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, rip it out. There you go. So, I think we're gonna be looking for Astrid. Okay, so this is hours before the Joker. The Joker. Oh, well, you know, you over here drinking caribou. Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Yeah, we should. Grab all this. <coughs> Tinder plugs. It, this, all this stuff really don't matter. We're not going to be able to take it with us anyways. <clears throat> so we just look. Let's see if we got some uh, newspaper. Can't look in this filing cabinet quite yet. Ooh, we got some uh, more paper here. Oh, that's nice. Can't look in that cabinet. Right there's the matches. Let's grab those. Get some 
trash can. Can't lift the trash can yet. <clears throat> Start fire. Uh, tinder plug matches. We have a 75% chance of that. Let's go ahead and start that fire. So what I read when I downloaded this game is it's basically like an open world uh, like winter survival game. Basically you're uh, you have to make fires, you have to, you know, watch your temperature and stuff like that. Okay. So now we got that that's gonna be good for three hours. Uh, let's go ahead and explore. Okay, you gotta hold it to do stuff, looks like. Uh, sprint, you gotta run. Okay. What's in here? That looks like a room. Let's see, we got a workbench over here. With some books, a saw, uh, some wrenches and stuff. Looks like he was making some stuff for the plane here. Yeah. Uh, there's a park there. I don't there. remember needing my parka this early in the season. <clears throat> Park it there. Get colder every Look, year. Good. Pick that up. Can I climb up this? No, I guess not. Alright, let's go over here. Let's see what's on the shelves. Nothing pick up? Nothing pick up. Yeah, it's alright. Let's see. Uh, some herbal tea. Uh, sink. Damn, I was right. Pipes froze up again. Oh, that's lovely. Pipes froze. Cedar wood, cedar wood, cedar wood. Take all that. <clears throat> Go up behind the airplane. What's it say? Float plane. Alright. Let's go ahead and open this door. Let's see what's up in here. Oh, there's a candy bar. Cardboard box. Yeah, break that down. <clears throat> Maybe we can get some stuff going and stuff. Uh, toolbox, nothing. Nothing. Books, nothing. Nothing. Those were better days. Okay, that that looks like that might be the Astro chick in the beginning. Yeah, that might be possible. Let's go ahead and see how we doing with this furnace. Uh, 20 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and add some fuel to it. Add the reclaimed wood. Boop, boop. Let's take a torch. Let's see if we can't uh, try to heat up this water. <laughs> Let's see if we can't. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, throw that right there. That looks like it's gonna be fine. Ah, uh, yeah. Eh? Nothing? Nope, nothing. Alright, uh, I think there's another door here. Let's see what's in here. Bathroom. Loose print. Trash can, sink, eh? Nope. nope. So that happened. Let's see who says about this door. Nope. Alright, I guess we gotta go. Lockers? Nope. Alright, so I guess we gotta go in here and lay down. Not sleepy enough for a nap. Okay. Not sleepy enough for a nap. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, let's see. What about now? <clears throat> okay. No. No. Eh? No. No. see anything so maybe I just gotta wait a bit longer <clears throat> like uh parka
let that stamina reach in, see if we can't get tired enough. Getting pretty late in the day. There we go. Take a nap. There we go. Okay, there's no, uh, there we go. Nap. <clears throat> okay, so we're resting up. Phones are ring a ling a ling. Could that be? Jack Rabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, will you not be so damn stupid? Well, well, slow down, Marie. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know when you need the money. The weather oh, service it's the okay, Marie. I've got it from here. Uh. uh. Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. <clears throat> There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... Th I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait. Questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. When I mean, it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you in some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost, all because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on a pre-flight. Okay. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. So, just in case anybody was wondering, this actually takes place in northern Canada. Uh, that's what the description of the game said. Let's see. Two people plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and Bad <coughs> Thieves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. Well then. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Alright, well, let's take a look. Because I got some ideas of what we should take with us. The Mysterious Case. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Wherever she's going, she must not be planning to stay long. Oh, 
Oh shoot, she's in the plane waiting for us. <laughs> Let's uh Water. Energy bars. Emergency food, Purification. cool. After the doctor, First so aid, definitely. The distress pistol, pistol kit is heavy. But I'd hate to end up in an emergency situation without it. Jackrabbit remote transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and, well, anywhere, really. I don't know why it's not letting me pick this up. I really want that. Like, is there a specific amount I'm allowed? Oh, okay. I can't pick it up because of that. Let's actually go ahead and see what's on right now. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, wait. Here we go. Uh, pants. Pants, nothing. Jacket, jacket, nothing. Boots, socks, okay. Uh, look, what I'm thinking... Excuse me. What I'm thinking here is, um... We need to leave something behind. And I think it's gonna be this cooking pot. That puts us down to 28. And clothing's not that much. Um, the firewood. There's gonna be firewood, I believe. Uh, well, there should be. It's gonna, I'm gonna be able to find it. Huh? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna keep my tender plugs on me. So let's go ahead and go back. And tender plug, pick that up. Okay, I guess I can't bring that. I, I don't know why. That's not cool. Like, uh, <laughs> They expect me to just do... Alright. Boom. Uh, shift click. No, oh, shift space. No. Alright, I, I guess I can grab my parka and we can go. Oh! Crap, I can't take this. Maybe I can say, I'll take it on my person. I'll take it on my, I'll take it on my person. See if I can't pick up my heart, my parka now. Alright, so there we go, we loaded in. Alright, so we're flying. I see you're still wearing it. Huh? Wearing what? Your ring. Our ring. Oh. Yeah. I just forgot to take it off. I wear mine too. Why? So, I thought you wanted to forget. <coughs> Not all of it. Look, I, I should have looked for you. It's okay. I've kept busy. I've moved on. You sure? Because this all seems pretty familiar. Still working with that researcher, Doctor. What's his name? No. No, I'm not working at the center anymore. Well, then where? I'm working on my own. Freelance, you could say. Freelance doctor? That sounds legit. I don't question your life choices, Mackenzie. Plenty of things you could be doing besides hanging out in your dad's old plane and just drinking in the daytime. Hey, we had a lot of good times in this plane. At and it's under control. I know, okay? Uh, I'm not here to fight, really. I think about him all the time, you know? I know you do. But I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. But you don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. 
There's things I need to see. Mackenzie, say. not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? <clears throat> Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? Oh, wow. So, that looked like something was going on with the Aurora Borealis. That's actually really cool. Astrid! Ouch. Okay, we gotta worry about freezing to death right, right now. The windshield. Trees broke by fall. Oh, mostly. Let's go ahead and check out our inflictions here. What is this? It's a bandage. Let me use that my left hand. Burns. Sprained it. Oh man, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and treat the the hand first. Let's go ahead and put that on. Okay. Uh, harvest these bandages real quick. Alright, yeah, 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 Harvest the bandages. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get all bandaged up so we ain't gotta worry about no more inflictions right now. So, let me go ahead and check this out. Grab this. Use. Right hand, use. We're gonna get all of our afflictions took care of. Ooh, the burns didn't work. The sprained ankle, it'll go away though. The sprained wrist is gonna go away. Alright, alright, now I'm freezing. Now I'm freezing. Yes, we gotta build a campfire. Build ourselves a little campfire, like right here. So, uh, see, crafting tender plug, bandage, bandage, uh, tender plug, tender plug. <clears throat> oh, crap, how do I make a, a campfire? Bandage.
Okay, yeah, I am dying over here. Pain, pain, burns, that and that, with this and this, and I don't have anything like that right now. Um, but let's see if we can't craft a fire. Need a fire. Health, bandages, clothing, a uh, torch. Uh, we ain't got nothing we can do right now. We gotta just have to run up to that top. Let's just do this. It feels like it's still burning. I could probably climb that. Yeah, I know we can. Let's go. Shelter from this wind. All right. Uh, so I guess we gotta go back down to the <clears throat> to that cave. I'm not sure what we're gonna do because okay. Well, how do I make a fire? It says warm the cave up, but it doesn't give me a uh, fire. I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to do this. Like, do I have tinder plugs? Let me see what I need. Yeah, I got everything I should be able to make. A fire. But I'm not sure, like, why it's not letting me make a fire. Oh. There we go. I figured it out. It's number four. Yeah, let's just uh, try to start that. There we go. I'm probably gonna reassign that with four to F for fire. Oh yeah, get that fire going. I don't feel so good. Okay. I need okay, to rest let's up. Better. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and uh, add some fuel to this real quick. Add fuel. Gives us two hours. Add fuel, add fuel. That gives us a while. Go down to the sticks. Back. Alright, that should do us good. Let's go ahead and get rested up. We should be feeling better in the morning. Everything's healed. Astrid hasn't come looking for me. Which means she can't come looking for me. I don't know what I did because to pull out hurt. the matches. But worse. Oh no. Put them away. Get back up to the crash site. Um. I'm not sure how to unequip. That's four. And. I'm not on that. Stop. Come on. Uh, you know what? Whatever. It's in our hands for now. <laughs> okay, so it's not as cold today. My pain's healed up. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and climb. I just heard my stomach growl. <sighs> Now 
Now, this stuff is actually what they use for making tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna collect some of that. Surrounded by snow, but nothing to drink. That's, yeah, that's a feeling right there. <sighs> Oh no, I climbed back down. Why? I'm not gonna climb back up. <laughs> I was trying to grab those rose buds. That way I can make my herbal tea. Gotta hit those. I think I'm gonna make it. Start working our way up the mountain. Go ahead and get all the way up here. Like, it should be better when I get my parka. Finally made it. Oh, crap. I did it again. You know what? Let me change a couple options real quick. good that's good that's cool that's cool that's cool that's cool uh, let's turn those on English image filter and no, all that's cool confirm confirm that back oh wait, wait. no nope. back uh, controls Let's go ahead and turn that down about four. Yeah, that's cool. This way we ain't gonna be bouncing all over the place and it'll run a lot smoother. Alright, back to it. See how good that transition was, and now I'm able to harvest properly and stuff. Thirsty though, thirsty as all can. I'll get go up here. Let's get over to that plane. My plane. Uh, I'm not sure which of us looks worse. Poor girl. Poor thing. This isn't how things were supposed to end. Here, painkillers take those. Orange soda, take that. Oh yeah, that's market for you. Oh, we just got something. <clears throat> okay. Uh oh. Astrid's pack. Hard case. What's in this thing? Hmm. Locked. All right. Whatever's in this case. Aspirin was ready to die for it. Search I hope she book hasn't bag. already died for it. Some stuff, some mittens, some antibiotics. That's cool. Just collect some sticks on the way out. Uh, let's go ahead and get our inventory going. <clears throat> get some clothing on. Let's go ahead and uh, open up clothing. Okay, we got our parka on. We got that on. That's cool. Let's see what's hurting. Alright, so. Plus two painkillers. So, if we take. Use. Oh, I just work? used. Because I used antibiotics. Okay, there we go. That's gonna take that off. We ain't gotta worry about it. There we go. That's healed. Cool. Now we ain't got no heal inflictions. Alright, now. Let me just make sure there ain't nothing over here. Plus, there's some medical supplies right there and a bedroll, look like. Take the bedroll. Emergency stem. Bandage. Antibiotics. Uh, bandage. Painkillers. And some antiseptic. That's nice. Cloth. Some other 
plastic that I, I guess well up right there up the wing all right this box is some refined wood reclaimed wood right here let's go ahead and move on up she definitely passed through here and in a hurry okay so we know that she's bound to be this way that's a big stick this takes some time dying of thirst over here can't wait to get to this first house there's a rabbit but I ain't got no stones oh there they go I guess I gotta do it when I stun him. To stun him. Alright, let me chase him up here. But bang! Got one. Oh, this is the worst part. I am so sorry if you're watching this, but I have to have this food or I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm sorry. I know it's wrong of me because I killed a baby. I killed a bunny. I had to. You see, survival of the fittest. I am sorry. Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid? Oh, what's this? Oh, I can harvest this. What's that? Oh, okay. Astrid. Where did you go? Excuse me, bunnies. Oh, that's a wolf. Let me go ahead and walk up this way. Stay away from him. Can I crouch? I don't know what I just did. I'm not sure if I can crouch or not. Oh, I can crouch. Alright, I'm just gonna sneak past the wolf. I'm not trying to die oh, early on. Is that a wolf? I better keep my distance. Yeah, we should. He's content with that deer over there. It's alright. Just keep moseying on. Need a drink. I know. Oh, I'm dying now. Yeah, I'm dying. Hold on. I'm far enough away. I should be able to drink a soda. Do I have any, like, drinks on me? Oh my, I do drink it. Oh, that, that helps me so much. Alright, that's gonna help. We just need to get down past this little hill here. To be able to get past the uh, wolf over there. I'm not trying to get up and start running yet. Not till I know I'm a decent ways away from him. Oh, I'm getting closer. <laughs> he looks very happy with that piece of uh, dead deer carcass over there. I think we're good to go ahead and uh, start running from here. Let's get out of dodge. Whoa. Looks like some kind of radio tower. I must be closer to civilization than I thought. Hmm. Oh yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. I should have climbed down. Oh well, let's go ahead and get to let's get to that. Uh, 
body, sprained ankle. Oh, I don't have any bandages. Let's go ahead and craft a couple of them. Yeah, that's gonna take up some of my daylight though. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get that fixed up. Uh, health. Let's see, we got some bandages. Let's go ahead and use that on that left foot. Let's go ahead and hit this painkiller up for the, uh, the pain from the fall. And that should get us where we gotta be. Alright, we seem to be cool now. Alright, where are we going? Alright, so we, we came from over there. And it looks like we gotta go that way. Possibly. Yeah, that's what it looking like. Oh uh, yeah, that's a radio tower over here. Maybe it's uh something good. Okay. What is that? Is that a dead body? Oh no. He froze. Oh poor guy. Yeah, poor thing. Oh. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Let's just see what you got on you. Got some painkillers. I'll take those. Can't get enough of them. Let me see if there's anything over here, the edge or something. Yeah. Oh, there's a civilization down there. It's a small town. I hear wolves coming. Like they sound angry as all get go. Go ahead, climb down here. There you go. Look, smoke from that chimney. Mm hmm? That means someone's home. Hello? Anyone out there? <sighs> this whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. What happened here? Whoa, what's going on with you? Oh, we got a hatchet early on. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I see blood trailing. It looked like he got messed up. Okay. Go ahead inside, see what... See what's going on here. Hello? Anybody here? There's a table, book. Oh! Oh, hello. Just gonna go upstairs. See what's in here upstairs. Here, there we go. Let's see what we got. There's nothing there. There's a bed there. There's Oh shoot, I could sleep. Sewing it. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a water source. Oh, that's nasty. But okay, whatever gets you going, I guess. Some cardboard boxes and stuff in here. More cardboard boxes. I guess let's get downstairs and uh, talk to the old lady. Hey. Hey, 
you'd wake up. Holy shit! Oh, wait! Hold your fire! Get back. O okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Outsider. Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the others. So, must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane, I, I crashed in the mountains nearby. I'm looking for someone who crashed with me. A friend. She might be injured. I haven't seen her. Listen, could you maybe point that gun someplace else? You think? Because my eyes are covered, I can't see you. Make the wrong move, say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others are all gone. If you are here, things must be worse than they thought. Where are we? No, a forgotten town, deep in the mountains. You're far from home. But, uh, where are we on Great Bear? My plane came down in a storm. My compass was acting funny. I've lived here all my life. Not much use for the outside world. Milton's the last of the old mountain towns. Now, it's almost impossible get to, or get out of. Only people left here are either too poor or too proud to leave. Which are you? I have what I need. At least I did before the bad man came. Now I'm not sure I have enough to get through the winter. I need to find my friend, but I'll do what I can to help. My mind is fuzzy. Some things come through so sharp, others. Like a dream. Let me think. Let me rest. Maybe I can pull some memories out of the fog. Maybe I can find something. Name's Mackenzie, by the way. And you are? I had a name once. But for years, the townsfolk have called me Grey Mother. A name takes on its own life. Such that at one point, the name becomes the thing it belongs to. Then the old names fade. Can only be remembered by the young and the true. So, I should call you... You should call me Grey Mother also. The town seems so quiet. Does anyone still live here? Not many. After the earthquakes, less. After last night, even fewer. Where did everyone go? I cannot say. All I know is that I heard screams and could smell smoke for most of the night. You mentioned smelling smoke? Someone came here. One of the townsfolk tried to convince me to leave. They said there were houses burning in the town. They said people were scared and were leaving for the coast. On foot. 
Stuart. Foolish plan. But that's what they said to do. After the quakes. If there was ever another emergency, go to the coast and help will come. They wanted me to go with them. But I'm not ready to leave Milton. They left you here? Alone? I'm not alone. I have my Lily. Lily? Never mind. Sitting here with a rifle in your hands. You expecting trouble? Trouble? <laughs> trouble found me. You mean the storm? The bad men. The bad men came. Took my things. Tried to take my house. They thought they were safe. Because Grey Mother can't see. <laughs> They were wrong. Who are the bad men? The men, they... they passed through town. The night of the storm. The night of the lights. I'm looking for my friend. She crashed with me when my plane came down in the mountains. Do you think she could have come through and been caught? By these bad men? I can't say for sure. Is your friend a survivor? I... Yes. She is. Then there is always hope. <clears throat> the bad men. Did they try to hurt you? Everyone thinks being old means you're weak. But they underestimated Grey Mother. It seems they did. Okay. Well, any idea how I can get out of this town? I need to find help. The old quake closed down most of the roads in and out of town. That was years ago. Blizzard just swept through town. After the power went out. As for hell, you won't find any out there. You're on your own. We both are. I crashed without much food or gear myself. And if these bad men cleaned you up, we're gonna need to find some food and fuel, or neither of us is gonna make it through the next few days. You have any idea where we could find some supplies? The bad men took everything. And the others in town who would have helped me are gone. The ones left will have their own worries. It's up to you, outsider. I'll do what I can, but I'll need your help. There must be somewhere in town to get food, fuel, the essentials. What about your friend? Aren't you in a hurry to find her? Yes, I am. And I'll be looking for signs of her. But there's a lot of ground to cover. And without gear, I won't make it. So while I'm looking for supplies, you see what you can remember about the Night of the Lights, and if she might have passed through town. That way, maybe we can help each other. Okay. Outsider, Grey Mother can't promise she can unlock the secrets in the dark cupboards of her mind. But she'll try. The power seems out all over town. The power's always been spotty here, since the quakes. No money to fix the broken stuff left behind. And nobody from the mainland seemed to care enough to do anything about it. I'm sure someone will come and fix it. Nobody's coming to save Milton. How can you be so sure? I've learned to hear the difference between something quiet and something abandoned. This goes deeper than just a stillness. It feels like the moments before the world goes to sleep. 
We're just the last ones left awake to notice it. Okay. So, we're gonna leave off here. When we come back, we're gonna start doing, uh... Well, you know what? Let's just get through this little talk scene. You keep calling me a mainlander. Why? It's what you are, isn't it? From the mainland? An outsider? You don't really belong here, do you? Okay, but you sound bitter about it. We lost everything in the collapse. People didn't realize how dependent we'd become. Some were fine with it. Others didn't want the scraps from your table. Created deep rifts in families, communities, scars that never healed. The mainland had become our lifeline and it was suddenly cut. And so we suffered. I guess I don't know much about that history. I'm not surprised. You mainlanders have always been focused on your own story. Only interested in Great Bear when it had something to give you. If you can't cut it down or dig it out of the ground, what use is it to you? Well, that was kind of rude. <laughs> what really happened here? Seems like people were here recently. Where did they go? Why didn't they call for help or just drive out. The power went out. Who knows the reason? People started to get cold, hungry. They panicked, started to talk crazy. Others walked here from the highway. Some belonged here. Others were outsiders, like you. Did anyone see a woman? Brown hair? Would have had a tan jacket, a scarf with, with birds on it, possibly injured. There was an outsider woman. I heard her pass through. She wasn't alone. There were angry voices and... <sighs> but the storm was too loud. Voices? I lost the voices and I couldn't get them back. Hmm. Voices. Before, you mentioned hearing voices. Do you remember what you heard? The memories are great. Misty. I'm trying to remember. It was windy. The blizzard was already waking up. But I heard yelling. A scream. Was it a woman's voice? I'm not sure. The voices were thin, far. The blizzard was waking up. Soon there was only wind and darkness. I don't know. I don't remember. It's all cloudy now. Okay, so we're going to leave off here, and when we come back, we're going to find supplies to get ourselves ready and get Grey Mother what she needs. So, without further ado, I would like to thank everybody for showing up, and if you liked the video, just uh, leave a like, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.